Thank you for coming back and joining us again for Daily Manna. This, I hope this whole week, this is wrapping up this week's lessons. I hope they've meant something to you because this is about pressing on through all the problems of life. That's what the whole week's been about. And I want to talk to you today about something that we don't talk about very much. I want to talk to you about pressing on through death. Through death. Pressing on through death. We don't really know about tomorrow. The song says, I don't know about tomorrow, but I know who holds my hand. Five years ago, <clears throat> I was struck on the driver's side of my vehicle by a fully loaded semi, 80,000-pound semi-truck. He was traveling 60 miles an hour when he hit me. I should be dead by all natural means, but God spared me to finish the work that he's called me to do. No one can imagine how I lived through that, but I did live through that because of the hand of God. But it brought the reality of fatality uh, of my, of, of my uh, uh, living that I'm still alive and the mortality of maybe not living. It brought that to mind so that every day I thank God for one more day to serve him. And maybe I should have done that before. Well, I had, I had before, but not with the impetus I do now. And David, when he wrote in the 23rd Psalm, we all know the 23rd Psalm, the Psalm of the Good Shepherd. But the verse 4 says this, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. You know, every day we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Now, I'll tell you what I believe. I believe, like the Bible said, God has a plan for us, not to harm us, but to prosper us. And in, in, in uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, it says that there is a time to be born and a time to die. I believe we have that time. Now, we can go, we could take our own life. We could do stupid things and get killed. But God has a time for us. I believe that. You know, Paul had the greatest perspective of life and death in his writings. In, in uh, Philippians 1.21, he said, Yea, doubtless I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ and be found among him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that through Christ." that I might know him, the power of his resurrection, the fellowship of his suffering, and be conformable to death. By any means, I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Amen. And he goes on down to the very bottom, and he's still saying, I'm pressing forward to the high calling of God in Christ. I'm pressing forward. And I used this scripture yesterday, but I wanted you to catch it and know what it says. I'm pressing on. No matter what happens? I count my life as dung. He didn't count his life as anything. In Galatians 2 and 20, it says, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, not, but not I. But Christ lives in me, and the life now which I live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. He counted his life as nothing, but his life that he serves as Christ for everything. And the very end of his journey, at the end of his journey, he wrote it like this. Paul wasn't afraid to die. He, he wanted to follow the will of God. He knew, he already had it prophesied, that he was going to die if he went to Rome, but he knew God wanted him to go to Rome. He wasn't afraid of death. And if you are a child of God, you know that God's got a time for you, and you don't have to fear death. I, I, don't, I don't fear some black hooded thing with a sickle at my door ready to take me away because God's going to let me live as long as he wants me to live. Paul wrote like this, 2 Timothy 4 and 6, For I'm now ready to be offered. The time of my departure, that's my death, is at hand. I fought a good fight. I finished my course. I've kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown, of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me in that day, and not me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Would you stay in love with God?
That's all. Just stay in love with God. That's all you got to do. And you'll be ready. And God let know that death does not have a grip on you. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? It's all taken away at Calvary. God bless you. Thank you for watching this week. Go back and view them all if you didn't get a chance this whole week on Pressing On. Father, I thank you. Thank you for your blessings. I thank you for your anointing. God, I want you to bless my viewers. Lord, if they're going through whatever they are, let them know they can press through it. The storms, the floods, even up to death, let them, let them get through it. The losses they have, the battles they're fighting, let them press on through them, God, and know that you're with them. Send the angelic forces to watch over and guide them. And I speak all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for watching this week. God bless you. Remember with God, all things are possible.